Morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and this week we're off to Paris. We're going to paint this really nice little cafe scene using a couple of brushes, building it up in layers. Let's get started with the drawing and learning a bit about the perspective of the painting. So the first thing we need to do just before we start the painting is just to check any parts of your drawing that might cause you a few issues. With the tree, don't get too hung up on all the branches because essentially this whole area, all of the leaves here of this tree, is just a big block of colour, big block of green that's going to be painted over the top. You've got a few key shapes to look out for in the branches here on the, near the trunk. These shapes here. But just look out for the negative spaces in between the trunks. Have that space in there. And what this will help to do is just make sure you've got a bit of interest in the shape of the actual tree. Also there's these lamps here on the actual picture. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those uh, in my painting, so I'm just going to leave them out for the minute. But you can draw them in on yours if you want to, that's fine. Again where here you've got an edge of a chair and then just the edge of the actual um, door going into the cafe, just look out for those little shapes that you've got because they'll just help you to get your drawing in check. Also think of the perspective, the actual change of scale from say this table here, um, close to the window, to this table here. If you measure it with your uh, pencil, you'd say that's about one, and that's about one and a half. So it's like one and a half to one, the scale that just changes from being in front of the window to just in front of you here. So quite a short distance, but it still changes quite a lot in terms of the perspective of the actual scene. We've got the angles of the window and all you have to do when you're judging angles is hold your pencil up or make a horizontal line on your actual canvas. I'm actually painting onto some boards here so it's quite easy just to draw on top of it. So what you do is you draw like a horizontal line and then check that horizontal line to the picture that we're working from. So when you hold up a horizontal line to it, what you'll then have is this shape here, a little triangle will appear, and that's the shape you've got to try and focus in on to make sure you check your angles of your windows. Remember when you're drawing a scene like this, the verticals will always stay vertical. The only thing that starts to change is the angles in between the verticals. So what you'll often find is that people's drawing, say a window starts off really good, it has vertical here, but as you get further across, they, the angles start to get further and further out. You take a ruler, put it across it, just to check you haven't got any angles that are going out slightly. As long as your verticals are vertical, then all you've got to do is look at the angles, change those, and your perspective will just fall into place really simply. I'm not too worried about too much detail here and the figures, it might be quite impressionistic so it's just to get a feel for building up a painting like this. And also just check your angles that you've got on this A board, just so you've got the angle coming underneath here. Got a nice little curve of the path that brings your eye in subtly. There's a nice play between darks and lights throughout the scene. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, as I often do with these paintings, I've got a toned ground onto the actual board. It's like a raw umber and white. It's quite a light tone. And now I'm going to put in the darkest darks. So look through the image and say, where are the darkest areas? We've got a real big dark area here. And then this brings your eye through, through the branches on the trees, into the darks of the cafe. And then your eyes jump around through the piece here. So there's this, this flow that happens through the darks. When you paint them into starwood, they'll feel very dark and they'll feel too heavy. But you've just got to trust it that once you actually painted them in, as the painting progresses, suddenly these darks will just kind of disappear on you. So let's just start just with the burnt umber and block in a few of these darks and just get to grips with the painting. 